Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420, and today I'm kind of sick, so I'm not going to smoke, but I did want to still kind of make a video. Uh, and today what we're going to talk about is five different things, or five things that are different thanks to marijuana legalization uh, for recreational use. So, uh, number one is there's no more sketchy deals. That's like the most obvious one. You don't have to like call a dude who's like, yeah, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Three hours later, he's like, where you at, bro? And you're like, bro, you said 20 minutes it's been three hours but somehow you you're out of options so guess what you're doing you're gonna go meet him then once you get there bags a little skimpy it's not quite what he told you he said it was loud but you can't even hear it like it's a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> and that kind of gets cut down some obviously you're still gonna get your hits and misses here every now and again with the rec market but at least you know you're going into a well-lit building with like 1700 cameras all around that are accessed by the government at any point in time like there's a lot of more security <laughs> in the whole transaction which makes things so much easier for the consumer who, who just wants to like smoke a little bit of bud the same way somebody wants to like drink their or, you know beer at the end of the day so that was a really really good change number two is gonna be um, you know that part of the money you're going you know you're part of the money you're spending is going towards something that's helping your state so a lot I don't actually all of the <laughs> legalization of all the states that have legalized cannabis um, they all have you know they, they dump a bunch of the tax money and in Washington state it's actually pretty hefty I think it's like 40 some percent or it's a pretty high up their tax um, so like what ends up happening is like the, the, the state gets all this cash from all the sales you know and, and what happens is they redistribute that amongst different um, state funds whether it's education health you know whatever it may be they're predetermined and agreed upon so um, it's just it, Compared to you, I don't know if you guys remember, but remember for a little while there after like 9-11 um, the, the and everything happened where there was those like weed commercials where they were trying to tell you like if you buy weed, you're funding terrorism and like you can't say that no more, bro. Like I'm funding the state. <laughs> so that's that's a really another really good change. Um, number three is going to be flavors. So like I said in the first one, you show up, you have one choice. Maybe you have two. If you had a really, really good guy, you had like three or four fucking choices. And like that was rare. But if you had that guy, that guy was going to cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> so it was all about, you know, having the right people. Now you walk in the door and it's like, okay, so tell me where your price points are. And here's our, you know, our, our budget friendly here's our mids here's our high end and you get to select from any of you know 20 30 different brands that are within each of those like price ranges which is amazing the selection is huge um and, and like I don't know <laughs> I, I just think that's one of the biggest like things that you notice the very first time you ever step into a retail shop you're gonna be just overwhelmed by the mass amounts of like products especially if you're coming from like an illegal state because you're like you have no idea you're coming from a completely dark state and all of a sudden thousands of products are in every single shop and not every shop carries the same people so you know there's a bunch out there and it's just it's something that it, it messes with your head a little bit at first but after a while it gets really cool um and so number four is going to be dosage limits on edibles <laughs> so this one's hit and miss right so i know um for the newbie this is great because you know every edible you know unless labeled otherwise is it's 10 milligrams per no it, it, it's state law so it's 10 milligrams per serving for any edible some things have a little bit more but the dosages are always broken down for you so that's really nice you're not <laughs> gone are the days or they're supposed to be um where, where you go have your little edible and you take this little tiny thing that you had no idea had like 1500 milligrams of THC um, because you know there's no regulation now everyone is 10 and so the drawback is for the more regular consumer who, who wants a stronger edible um, it, it does kind of you know suck for, for, for them or I should say for us because I kind of like stronger than 10 milligrams um, but at the same time, you have to understand that there's going to be more new consumers than there are older ones. And there is still products out there that like curve that itch. Like there's drinks, there's 
a couple other things here and there, but my favorite is hands down the drinks. Like I love <laughs> the drinks and there's some specifically, but I won't get into that. Um, the last thing, number five, is uh, everyone can show their face when they review weed. You remember, like it's something that we take for granted, especially in a legal state. Um, I know I do and then I'll start digging through channels and then you start noticing there's some people that like they literally can't show their face they can't you know they still have to hide because somebody could knock on their door and say hey bro you're going to jail why because you have this channel up that says you do something that's illegal and so it's it takes that away or at least part of it the feds can still come in but really i don't see the feds coming in and taking down a regular cannabis user <laughs> like there's no there's no sense in that it, it makes sense to go after like the retail or the farm or anything like that more than the dude who's got three to four grams sitting at his house <laughs> so it, like that's what i mean is like unless you're you know you're still doing black market shit you have nothing to worry about you can be 100 percent yourself and not have to hide anymore thanks to legalization and that's just five things that i like sat there and thought about i can guarantee you guys have a whole bunch of other ones and i'd be more than you know happy to have you guys comment those down below and i'll make other videos in the future just going along this um, because I think as a community, we can come up with at least two more, you know, 10 more things <laughs> um, where like we just show that cannabis like legalization really changed things for the better. Um, and, and very few instances, um, there are very few instances where where it didn't do that. So with all that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry I'm not smoking. I'm just sick. And when I'm sick, like I said, I don't really enjoy smoking. Um, so with all that. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be back again with you guys soon. Um, yeah. <laughs>